people in West Michigan are proud of their community. So 13 is on your side of town showing off what makes those places special. The food, the people, what's coming next? We're helping the rest of West Michigan understand your town the way you do. This week we're on your side of town, Muskegon. Famous for its freshwater beaches and historic architecture, Muskegon is a popular vacation destination for people of all ages. This morning, we're focusing on some of the landmarks. It's hard to talk about Muskegon without first mentioning the beaches, most notably Pier Marquette, known for its sandy shoreline along Lake Michigan and the Muskegon Lights. Both of these lighthouses are listed on the National Register of Historic Places, but they're not the only historical landmarks in this area. Just to our east, a unique piece of naval history is on display, USS Silversides. She turned 80 in December. She was the first submarine that was commissioned after Pearl Harbor. She was put into service on December 15, 1941, and she has served her country valiantly over the course of the war. Her history is an incredible tribute to all the men and the women of the United States military that made our country safe for democracy. And she's open for tours year round. We have six torpedo tubes, and we carried 16 torpedoes up forward, six in the tube and 10 spares in the room. Continue traveling east a few miles, and you'll find some houses that look like they're straight out of a fairy tale. This is the Hackley and Hume Historic Site. Built in the late 1800s, these incredible structures were once home to Charles Hackley and Thomas Hume, businessmen who worked together in the lumber industry and ended up living right next to each other here at the corner of Webster and Sixth. This is Queen Anne style architecture um, with both of these houses. You can see them in specific spots, especially in some of these old lumbering cities. There might be one or two left, but not quite like this um, and not quite preserved in the way that these two have been for so long. The preservation effort has started, um, it started back in the late 60s and the early 70s, and it's an effort that we continue to this day. So we're always trying to um, repair and redo and make sure everything looks wonderful. Just a few blocks to the north, another significant piece of Muskegon history, this time celebrating the arts. Welcome to the Frauenthal Center. Originally built as the Michigan Theater, uh, construction began in 1929 with the theater opening on September 16, 1930, offering all 100% talking motion pictures. Today, the Frauenthal offers a variety of entertainment from music, dancing, comedy, and more. The Frauenthal definitely is a place to experience it all. So whether you're seeking a live performance, an underwater adventure, intricate works of art, or that windblown look from a day at the beach, Muskegon offers something for everyone. Some beach fun out there at the end there. Something else unique about Muskegon. From May to October, a high-speed ferry will take you across Lake Michigan all the way to Milwaukee in just two and a half hours. If you were to drive to Milwaukee, it would take you almost twice as long. And if you want 13 on your side of town, tell us why we should visit. Head to 13onyourside.com slash town or text the word town to 616-559-1310 and fill out the form to nominate your town. We'll announce next week's town at the end of the evening shows this Thursday.